All right, let's look at a really quick video this morning on getting a query to HTML. We're gonna look at one of the ones that I got from SO a couple of years ago that still is, is pretty useful with a couple of disclosures here. Uh, all you have to do is just pass in the query. The order is optional, though it's useful in some cases. Um, make sure to get the output, of course, and then send the email. Now, just a heads up here, I'm gonna be linking it in the description. Make sure that your query is appropriately filtered, even if that means you pass a temp table into the query parameter. So you can create your temp table before and then pass it in if you want with a select star from table. And then clean up all temp tables used. No reason to lock out tempdb. Um, and what I mean by, by the way, on the first one too as well, is like there's, there's nothing more annoying than noise in the inbox. Uh, right, so I'll link this in the, the description, but this is just on GitHub and this is the one that I got from SO and I kind of cleared it up. But like for instance, on uh, these temp tables, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you uh, clear it out because there's no reason to be locking out tempdb um, for no reason or creating more objects that are unnecessary. So uh, just, just a helpful query to, to get something in HTML that does not unfortunately do all the filtering for you. You'll have to do that yourself depending on what you need. And just always remember, there's nothing more annoying than receiving a bunch of emails about, hey, it worked perfectly. Like, so think about what you're alerting on. Failure, yes. Success, in most cases, no, you really don't want to know.